Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, another beautiful MDT 2013 video for you guys. And it's all about Windows 10 and removing those built in apps. So uh, I did some research, and it looks like Microsoft or someone from the Microsoft team provided a PowerShell script to remove these built in apps. I created a, uh, a task sequence already. So let's double click on this task sequence. This task sequence is a standard client task sequence deployment. It's nothing special about it except two things. Now, if we go inside the task sequence tab and we go all the way to the bottom right here in the custom tab, I created two modules. One module is it basically sets the execution policy to bypass. And the other one is basically a PowerShell script that removes all the apps. Now, I placed this apps within the script folder. So I'm going to show you guys right now. Let's go inside our Fire Explorer. I'm going to go into my C drive. Depending on the name of your deployment, uh, just get into that. My, I called mine production. We are going to go into the scripts folder. I created a subfolder inside the script folders. I like doing that just to keep everything nice and organized. Just make sure you call it. And this is it right here. So let's right click on that and let's go to edit. It removes all the built in apps, not all of them, because there's certain ones that you cannot remove from the Windows 10, such as Microsoft Edge. That's one of them that does not remove with the script. But the other ones like Bin Weather, uh, OneNote, Xbox apps, those are the ones that are actually going to be removed with this uh, PowerShell script. I'm actually going to place the link at the bottom of the video so you guys can get a copy of it. Again, I got the script from the TechNet blog. so. Uh, I'm definitely going to place the link at the bottom so you guys could grab it. But again, all I did is I placed the PowerShell script within the script folder and I called it out. That's it. So we're going to test it out. So I am going to go inside my host and I'm going to go into my F drive. I'm going to create a folder with you guys. Let's call it BJ test V3 because I don't have one of those now. I'm going to copy this path. Awesome. And I'm going to go to File, New Virtual Machine. Let's go to Next. Next again. We are pushing out a Windows 1064 machine. Uh, let's copy that path there and change the name of our virtual machine to that. Click Next. I'm going to give it to a small size because, again, uh, Windows 10 is real small. I'm not going to be installing anything anyway. Click Next. And we're going to finish. And we're going to power this virtual machine up. It's going to ask me a silly question of this. I'm going to try to get into the Pixie Boot. There it goes, Pixie Boot. Let's pick the 64 bit because that's what I'm pushing out and I need to get into that 64 bit environment. So let's hit enter. Okay, so my deployment has uh, somewhat begun. I haven't customized my custom settings INI file. So this is the reason why I'm getting that welcome dialog box and I need to log in, which is okay. So remember, Make sure you uh, use an account that has full access to your deployment. If not, this will not work correctly or run correctly. And hit enter. From here, our task sequence dialog box, we're going to pick the remove Windows 10 built-in apps. And we're going to click next. Uh, let's change the virtual machine name to that. Awesome. Let's click next. Click next. Next. Again, I'm getting all these questions is because one, I did not configure my custom settings .ini file. But again, you can modify all this by saying no, no, no to everything. And then all this stuff would kind of not show up during your deployment. Uh, I am going to just click next here. I'm not going to capture the image. So we're going to click next and we're going to begin. All right, guys, so it looks like our deployment was successful. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, let's click on finish. Automatically, I can notice that one thing has been removed from the taskbar, and that's the Microsoft Store app. All right, cool. But let's check if a lot of these apps were removed. So I'm actually going to type in PowerShell, and I'm going to right click on this guy right here, run it as an administrator, and we're going to run the following command. So it's get. Uh, app X package. We're going to pipe it with uh, select 
name with a comma space and it's going to be package full name and hint and then hit enter all right so it looks like uh i don't see xbox i don't see one note i don't see the bing weather app i don't see a lot of apps so that's a good thing so let's exit out of here all right so let's click on the start menu looks like a lot of stuff was removed which is great. Let's go all the way to the bottom. I don't see an X for Xbox anywhere. So, okay. So the other question that comes in mind is, okay, does the PowerShell script remove the apps for other users, but not only the user that's logged in? Because that happens sometimes. You remove a built-in app within the current account, but when you log into another account, it shows up. So let's right click on the start menu. Let's go inside. Let's go computer management. Let's go to local users and groups. Users folder. Let's right click and create a new user. Let's call it YouTube. Uh, let's double click on that guy because I do not want it to change a password. So let's apply it. Okay. Awesome. Let's exit out of this. Let's click on the start. And I want to sign out of here. Let's log into our YouTube account. Okay, so we're logged into our new account, YouTube. So let's click on the start menu. This is our new account, YouTube. Awesome. Let's go inside the list, and it's really nothing much in here. <laughs> so let's click on here. Again, there's not a lot in here. A lot has disappeared, which is great. Uh, within the YouTube account, again, let's go to start. Let's type in PowerShell, and I'm going to right-click on it and run it as an administrator. Again, this account does not have full access, so I need to log in as an administrator to run PowerShell. Again, we're going to run a get AppX package, and we're gonna pipe it with select name, comma, package, full name, hit enter. And looking at the list, I do not see Xbox. I do not see a bunch of these built-in apps that you would normally get when you install the operating system. And the one that I can't see is the, the default one that comes on the taskbar. And the one in the taskbar is the one for the Microsoft, the Microsoft Store app. So that one disappeared automatically. So that's cool. So if I go to the start and I type in Microsoft, Microsoft Store, it pops up, but it's saying search the web. It doesn't. It doesn't come up locally. But how about the Xbox One? The Xbox One doesn't pop up either, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Awesome. All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video of how to remove the built-in apps during MDT deployment. Again, I'm going to place the link at the bottom of the video. That's going to point you to the TechNet blog where I got the remove apps PowerShell script. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Don't forget about hitting that like button or subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.